la 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 live. La 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 live on YouTube. Possibly now. Who knows? <gasps> what? Be going down, people of the world. Redbeard here, coming at you from the couch. Because why the hell not? Friday night, let's review a beer. And the beer was sent to me by someone who is along for the ride. What? Mr. Huh? Dan. What? Oh, the Western shit, Canadian here? reviewer. I mean, hi. <laughs> Channel link in the description down below if you want to go subscribe to him. Give him some love. And the two of us tonight are going to be reviewing the most ridiculous sized can of beer that I've ever seen, personally. Like, this is my first experience with a tiny can like this. Mm -hmm. It's a can of fortified barley wine by the Blind Man Brewery. I believe they're out of Calgary, right? Uh, out of Lacombe, Alberta. Okay, where Dan just said. Coming in at 14.5% percent abv yeah so uh yeah uh -huh. um yeah I'm barley okay. wine is something i've been hit or miss on overall in my kind of beer experience but recently i've been a bigger fan this one though first fortified and we we're just reading about it before we came on the uh on live here it was fortified with cask strength barrel age spirits, spirits, courtesy of Burwood Distillery. So we don't know what this spirit is, which is kind of really an interesting thing to not tell you. But yeah, you as far as blurring now, just wait till after. Tiny can, like if you're going to put something in a tiny can. A 14.5% beer, you know, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be pissed off if I really like it, though, because I'm going to want more. It's not going to be enough. If I hate it, I'm going to be, yeah, perfect. But <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just, well, I hear a random question that Dan can answer that I wouldn't know the answer to. Cost of this little bitch. $5.20. Pricey, but again, 14.5%. I feel like that's, if it was a full size can, I could see you paying at least $10, 10 15 dollars yep. for something yep. like this that high that big. 237 yep. that is that'd be 470. They basically cut 473 in half, but you can't cuz it's Yeah, I want to see a fucking 234 <laughs> or whatever 0.5 milliliter can. Why not? Cut it in half for real. I mean, anyway. how many times have we seen the whole uh, ABV of 6.699225? I want to see that too. Why not? <laughs> go all, go all, go all pie with your fucking numbers, guys. Come on. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, there's no date on this, but I don't feel like it. Need, I feel like there should be at least like the year it was produced would be nice to have on this. Um, but it, 80 IBUs. Yeah, I see that. But yeah, there's no date, no ingredients. So that's. But I'm assuming it's not super old at this point. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Was it this because year or the saw, end of last you, year? Kind of thing? You saw this at the end of last year, didn't you? Okay. I, I, I think so. I can't really recall. But without any further ado, let's crack this little bitch open. Even if I hate it, I'm probably going to save this can just because it, it's it's. It's one of those things where, like, I'll put it, I'll put it in a prominent place on a shelf. People can be like, "What the fuck is that?" I'll be like, "Yeah," and I'll, and I, I'll either what? say that was amazing or, "Oh my god, that was so bad." This, this, this fits my little, my little blind man glass. Nice. So I, have, I, mean, I have a little red beer glass. So. <laughs> okay, it's not not very dark. Pour with some vigor. Wow, it did. That didn't even care about how hard how to pour how hard. No, to pour. that is. That is not forming head. It refuses. <laughs> All right. It just looks like kind of a typical dark ale uh -huh. with, oh my God, when you alcohol legs for days <laughs> on the side of the glass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It doesn't smell super insane. No. You do have those dark I'm getting, fruits. Like, caramel, dark fruit, some like raisin, fig kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. S <laughs> small hint of turpentine or something coming off that. Yeah. that that's I might I might be the bourbon. 
I feel like th- th- this smells flammable. Fourteen point five percent. I'm gonna say possible. I don't know. I I, I think that even forty per forty percent booze isn't you isn't always flammable. So th- this no. probably wouldn't be. It's just it just it's once like that first hit for some reason the first smell. All I got was the niceness, and now all I'm getting is like fire. <laughs> Jesus. Well, uh, well that's uh. You ready for this? Out, my friend. Let's cheers. <laughs> um. That <laughs> really smooth, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like that. The uh, the the smell of death does not transfer through to the. I'm, I got no warming. I got no nothing there. I got just no. like nice. Caramelly, dark fruity. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Um, let's do this. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> and obviously, all of the cheers to the Dan. And cheers to you as well, sir. I would, I would, I would have expected to be maybe a bit thicker, the mouth, awesome. the mouth feel. But yeah. I, I'm assuming fortifying it with spirits. Spirits are, I've never yeah. seen like I, I, Jagermeister. I guess I'd call maybe a thick-ish spirit. That's more of a liqueur, though. Yeah, that's valid point. Valid point. Any actual spirit then I've ever seen is basically the consistency of water. Yeah. So you're going to kind of be watering it down, but. <laughs> the mouth feels the only thing I'd really even potentially kind of bitch about. This is kind of astonishing. Mm-hmm. So I'm 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 gonna ask you because uh, well we'll get into what your the tastes are and then I'll ask you a question afterwards because you do have that sort of touch of a licorice sort of then fig and plum and what you I was would just have. gonna. As you said, licorice. I was not- <laughs> I'm noticing something, and it's licorice. Yep. Nice. Look at like kind of like the lingering flavor on the back of my tongue. Exactly. Black licorice, <laughs> which I hate. Black licorice. Hate it. It's like coffee. Give me coffee on its own. Go to hell. Give me black licorice. Go to hell. Give me a shot of zambuca. Okay, sure. G- give me this. Okay, give me beer with coffee. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I can't explain it, but it's funny as hell, too, because I'm like, doing this dual review and like you had suggested the uh, that horchata, I think, stout that was one of the, uh, the, the, the con leche. This one that's what I meant to say. I don't know what the yep. hell is yep. I mean, horchata. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Uh, no, this because it's a horchata style. Yeah, see, okay, it was that good. <laughs> I wasn't, I'm not completely insane. No, but you're not. I was like, you know. Doing dual reviews, it's more fun to do bigger beers, kind of thing. And and when you mentioned that, I I I knew about like the other barley wine in my fridge, a couple of big stouts. This thing is so small, and I was so out of room in my fridge. I literally put it like on the shelf of my <laughs> fridge door, like underneath my kind of butter shelf, and it was buried. It was gone. I I totally forgot it was even there. It would have sat there until I moved, probably. <laughs> and yeah. Although it'd be fine to just sit there for a while. So fourteen point five. by design. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers and salutations. Hope you're having a great Friday evening. Yeah, you said you said I want to go big. I'm like, all right, well, I know what big one I have and what you want the one you've got. So yeah. It's the second biggest one there. <laughs> is it the second? Is that Yep. Because what? the biggest one is the shit beer. The shit beer. So happens it's Tuesday. What? So happens S H. It's Tuesday. I T. Oh, the shit beer. Is that like? Is that what they were doing with that when they made that name? Kind of a little. Well, that's what a lot of us say when we see it. Cause I know of like <laughs> like see you next Tuesday. Yeah. Which you know like like shit shit shit's a bad word but it's not like the. It, it's not well, like anyway, the here it's funny. Yeah. It's 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 totally like a, a regional thing, kind of because like here like it's 
from in my circle of friends and shit, like you, the, the C word is one of the, the worst words you can say, mm-hmm. basically. Where you move over like England and stuff. Australia. Yeah, which is, you know, kind of just weird England. Yep. <laughs> da- England, but full of dangerous animals <laughs> and bugs and stuff. But uh, yeah, I like to just like, yeah, they just throw that out there like to their friends and stuff. As it's, it's a term of endearment. It's weird. Yep. Because yeah. I've got a friend that actually, there's one one lady here that's from Australia. She uses it a lot. She thinks it's a term of endearment. I'm like, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. not what we think of it, but okay. <laughs> uh, found just tinkering with a streamer thing, your camera. Yeah. It, it, although, you know what? It is incredibly easy these days. There's a couple different apps you can find that you can, if you have a cell phone, chances are you have access to a pretty decent camera. Mm-hmm. Like almost any cell phone that exists, aside from like, if you still have a cell phone from like 10 years ago or something, then I'm, I'm sorry. But any, I don't know, my last cell phone that I had before the one I have right now was like a Samsung Galaxy S4. And that still had a fantastic camera. And yeah, wireless webcam up to your PC and away you go. You got a webcam. It, it's very viable option. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So now, now we got all, all that other stuff. I gave you that other barley wine that you really couldn't. You said you did a review, but you lost the footage. Oh, which one was that? I can't think of Death Blow. Yes. I liked Death Blow. <laughs> I liked it a lot. I think I might still have the audio somewhere, but yeah, the other video's gone. <laughs> but yeah, because like, I don't know. I don't know how that even happened. Like, I still have the hard drive. I'm thinking, like, may, maybe someone, like, may, give it to maybe somebody else and saying, recover the stuff again. And like, maybe, maybe they'll get it back this time. But it was so mm-hmm. weird. Like, the guy recovered the shit for me on the hard drive. And the folders had like three or four copies of the same file in them. It was like, it didn't even make sense how it like has, how his recovery software or whatever the hell he ran on it. I don't even know. Hmm. Same point in time. I mean, the difference between that one and this one. Oh, pff, I couldn't tell you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Again, like if, if I had access to that video and I could watch that video right now and kind of, Rekindle my memory. Like that that was a that was a while ago. Close to close to two years ago now, or something like that. Well, but, I guess it was. Well, Jesus, where's the time gone? But again, like I this, <laughs> this thing, just in terms of like, I can't really think of it in terms of just a, a straight up barley wine because there, I do notice differences the, with the whole fortified thing they did to it. it it's pretty yep. thin. Yep. Um, now that I've had a few drinks, there yeah. is a reasonably prominent boozy character that you don't really get with a just kind of a straight up 11 12 percent barley wine that i've had but you get, you again for what nice it warming. is for what it is i feel like it, it's nailed perfectly like and yeah. i like it a lot <laughs> like it is good stuff it is let's see the idea being you play with the idea being you play with the resi- residual sweetness of an English barley wine and give it some legs, something fortifying for a winter's day, something that is unlike any other beer we've made. This is their strongest beer they've ever made. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, for some reason, that for some reason that's like that, that's surprising to me, just because I've had. Like, and those were another... all eleven point. Yeah, those are eleven point nine percent or eleven point six. Those were the. Barrel aged stouts. Imperial I stouts. just figured that. I don't know why. Just they seem like they were all about these high ABV beers, and I feel like that. Like uh, for some reason, in my head, I I figured that they would have probably made a higher ABV like barrel aged stout. Yeah. Well, like, I, I, they. I, but again, I've, I've had like I, I had the uh, th- this is. I still can't. I'm sure there's one beer, but the highest ABV beer I had was Invictus, eighteen point two. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. Like just, I still have a bottle of that waiting for me. Really? Yeah. Like oh, yeah. waiting for you, like you had in your cellar. Like it's in my cellar. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a, 
that's going to be a good night. Um, <laughs> yeah, the uh, I'm watching the review. Yes, hello, S. Gem. Aside from that one, there was oh, Sapphire. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> um, but uh, I had a uh, something. I'm sure of it. That was higher than 14.5, but less than that. I can't think of what it was. But this 14.5 is equivalent to the double barrel bring out your dead in the rye barrels that Greg sent me. Mm. And I would say you can't you can compare them, but yeah, you can't compare them for styles because they're totally different styles. But in terms of personal enjoyment, I can compare them. Yep. And the like it's almost fortifying when you're putting these beers in different fucking barrels and leaching out those flavors and stuff. It's and with the uh bring out your dead, generally around 11 11 9 ABV that bumps it to 14.5, you're getting some ABV out of those barrels, so it, mm-hmm. it's it's like fortifying, True. like in my opinion, and like that's just that's that's the way. I love it kind of thing. <laughs> I'm enjoying this quite a lot, but it's, it's just like, I might buy another can if I had access to it, but I wouldn't buy, I, w- I wouldn't like seek it out. And like, I need more and more of this kind of thing. It's, it's not it's, blowing my mind. It's, it's a good one and done type of beer to say that you've actually tried it. Indeed. I believe that this is my first fortified anything I've ever had. This I look like first... there's fortified ciders and stuff like that yeah. and things. Wines. I that hate wine. Was... <laughs> this is my first fortified. And so you're going to basically, what I'm getting at here is this can is the right size. You know what? It is. Like I, I, I like it. It's good. But and if, it's it not was, something... if it wasn't a big can, I, I would drink that whole can. It would take like th- even this, like I figure this being a tiny can, I drink it pretty quick. I've probably still got over half the can left currently. Like, uh, it's, it's, yeah, I've got it just yeah, under half. So. It's going down, but it's 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 just it, I could I could just swig this down really quickly, but that would probably hurt me in the long run. So I'm not going yeah. to do that. This but, okay. So spoilers, I've had this before. Uh, <laughs> So I had three cans of this. One went to you, two stayed with me. I was going to send one off to someone else. I had a can of this, and damn, I was barbecuing. Finished off the can when I was barbecuing. Halfway through getting through dinner, I really started to feel it. It creeps. I feel, you know, I honestly, I feel like if you, you know, had a few cans and you wanted to play around, this would probably be really, really good in many different recipes as far as like adding beer to food. I don't know. I just feel like the, like you can maybe get some flambe action going with this. If you like add it to (laughs) it, maybe, but it's like to burn off the alcohol, especially with the high heat that might actually get this to ignite, but Mm -hmm. adding like a little bit of this to a marinade or something or, Oh, to your beautiful. chili or yep. even, even like even even making a, like a like you make a rum cake or something yep oh yeah mix some of this in with the rum i did just like just it's just got this nice it yeah, has those nice dark fruit it's, flavors it's, des- it's, des- really... it's desserty yes it is it really is i'd say actually that well the, the one that uh the this year last year i guess 2020s uh base version of bring it your dead that nick and i reviewed on uh wednesday before beer analysis that was like one of the most dessert beers i've ever had it was like so sweet and kind of decadent this this again it loses something with the spirits being added but it also it gets something so it's like a give and take thing that happens but it takes away a bit from the dessert aspect it's mm-hmm. not quite as like I want something like like thick and chewy and mm, so sapphire came up with a good thing barbecue sauce. This would, yeah, yeah, <laughs> reduce that down. Add some sugars and some fucking spices and stuff. And 
And, and, and they've already got the alliteration. Blind Man Barbecue. Blind yep. Man Brewing Barbecue Sauce. <laughs> BBB. BBBBQ. Yeah, make it BBBQ because you don't want to be uh, um, sued by the Better Business Bureau. <laughs> I don't know if they. I, I feel. I feel like that would be kind of like against just their company's values to to sue for that. Right. <laughs> yes. No. This is the Better Business right. Bureau we're talking about. They're they're they can be shady as fuck. I don't know. I, I don't, <laughs> I've never dealt with them, so I couldn't tell you. But no, no. They're they're they can be decent. Their name makes you think they'd be pretty good. Yeah. Um. This is true. I want to say, is this the, you're going to have to tell me, is this the second or third beer I've had from the Spirit Brewery? Uh, that would be your third. If I is it my third? What was my, I know the first one was that amazing Imperial oh, no, Stout. It might, it might only be your second. I feel like it's my second because I only have the one yeah. can. Yeah, because I, no, because I sent Nick the other one. It was the uh, barley or the barrel aged. Um, Different barrel or something like that. Wasn't yeah, it? It was yeah, a, it was a smoked beer. Yeah. Or okay. Well, so for me, beer, that's what it was. I want to say I, I can't recall <laughs> specifically, but that beer that my the, the other one was a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. Yes, and that is like it's weird how like my two favorite styles are kind of like an extra insanely juicy double IPA or something like that, <laughs> yeah. and then like a bourbon barrel aged stout. Like they're they're, they're so different styles but like there's yeah there's nothing like, wrong with that I, it's, 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 it's just kind of weird it's, it's weird though but again <laughs> yes. that's, that's what i'm saying it's like as far as blind man i again i i thought they would have made a stout to this abv by now just because of how it may like i've only had the one yep but i've heard i've seen reviews and heard talk of other ones and they they do they they've got some good barrels and they're oh. putting some good shit into those good barrels. From I, I saw the barrel program, and I'm like, ah, uh, because when I went up there for their second or third birthday, I I was we did the tour, and everyone's like, okay, that's the tour. And I looked at the guy, went, no, it's not. He goes, what do you mean? I'm like, I want to see your barrel room. He goes, oh, Dan, oh, Dan, we've got some treats for you. I'm like, yes. How so could they, they not include that by default? What the hell? Because it's off to the side. So it's a little, it, it's, it's, it's no, in a different no, room. No, no. So no, getting no, sauced no. off the sauce. If, if you're doing that much fucking barrel aging is shit. That's gotta be like, I, it, I was at, so I was at, I was at, I was at, you know, it, you say not that much, but like, well, I went to Oast house in a uh, Niagara area with Chad and Maple Rusky just a few years ago. And they gave me it. Like they barrel age everything uh -huh. and it's just barrels everywhere. And that was at sawdust. This one time, a couple of years ago, sitting at the bar having a beer and talking to the bartender. She's like talking about then she like offered to give me like a little private tour. I'm like, hell yeah. And went around and she brought me down to the basement. And it's just like like the, the their building is like a real an old, old it used to be a Canadian tire many, many years ago. Okay, yeah. So it's huge and like the basement area was like, I guess the storage or something, and they've got like I don't know, something in their basement is mildewy or something and it doesn't smell great down there at all but the barrels you know they don't take in things they just let things out that's why barrels are the best and they've got like just the, like these barrels just haphazardly fucking put all over the place in this basement area and that's where they ate barrel laser shit it's like it's the most like like sauna city is a big operation everything is like super super like nice and professional you walk down there it's like wow your barrel aging process is ghetto as fuck <laughs> but they i've had their barrel aged beers and they're amazing but yeah it's, it's just funny like imagining blind man even the air might be kind of small they've got racks that's nicely set up and shit probably they're, they're they've got about 20 barrels that's it and they've got two folders so they they have a folder program yeah. and they've got about 20 barrels depending um and then they have this great big system for t their their sours their kettle sours and their in new england ip or their new england pale ales and stuff and it's it, it is a smaller little thing but i mean lacombe is only what uh, 
if you guys know the geography, it's 20 minutes out of Red Deer. So it's 90 minutes north of Calgary and plus 20. Oh, it's actually a decent ways away from you. I didn't yep. realize that. Yep. Wow. I just got to point out, uh, S. Gem, like you spelled the same word properly the second time. The, 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 but the, 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 she, she, she did it Soused? because of me, because Soused? I said it would be awesome in a barbecue sauce. And then I corrected myself. Oh, you did. Okay, you did. So, yeah. you know, so. Sapphire, if you're making fun of Dan with your spelling, it's all okay. That I, I totally yes, agree. That, I, I have no problem with that. That's fine. <laughs> that, that's totally okay. Yeah, uh, no, that's that's sous, why I I, I I got it. I got it. Fourteen point five percent. Come uh, on now. Well, again, if you're if you're making any kind of sauce with this, you're gonna burn off when you're cooking most of the alcohol. Mo- generally, true. Oh, with a bar with a barbecue sauce, it's, that would be one of the ones where you might want to leave a bit because. Well, no, oh, not even though, not even though, not even if you you mix it in, it, you mix it in, and you marinate, put it in the in the fridge. No, but that's what I'm it. saying. Yeah, but a, a super high ABV marinade is going to cause your meat to just flare up way more when you're barbecuing. Like you don't, you don't want you get the that. good sear going on. Yeah, but if it or you put it in an off yeah. heat, you put it, you, you basically indirect heat. If you indirect heat, that's that's true. But I guess if you put it on there, direct heat. Get the alcohol, burn it off. Get that super nice because I the sear. Yep. That's that's why I'm a, that's why I'm like a big proponent of doing the uh, cast iron sear the hell out of your steak and then throw it in the oven to finish it. Like yep, I, the best, I, I, the best I, I, all, all the best steaks I've ever had in my life. We're done like that. Barbecue that way again. That's, some people so. are. <laughs> I've I've had barbecue steaks. They've been good. But the best steaks I've ever had in my life were done seared in a cast iron and finished in the oven. And especially especially if you do it with like throw some uh, thyme or rosemary into that oh, yeah. pan with some butter and just oh, continuously yeah. butter base the steak the whole time it's searing and I'll then put it in the oven. Garlic in there. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good. All right. This review is about a half an hour long. So yes, let's finish it, it up. Um, I'm a big fan. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not blown away. I, I don't love it. I really like it. Is, is it like, doing the job of getting you to where you need to be for 14.5%? Well, I mean, you did yeah. have a strong ABV beer before this. So it, it, it's still in process. So, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> and, and all I had today to eat was I, I did, I did the whole, uh, spicy chicken sandwich while delivering thing tonight. So, uh, that was my food I've had today. All right. So yep. not, not, not an empty stomach, but not a whole lot of and absorption. Again, you really enough. should be putting those reviews online for your, uh, your quick reviews. I yeah. Know, yeah. I keep forgetting and stuff. No. It's, they're just all on my phone. I just gotta it's now it. on your channel. Yeah. So it has to be done. <laughs> yeah. First time that happened. God damn it. Dan. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give this a pretty solid, 7.5 taking one full work off because of the lack of date and ingredients. Cause that's how I wrote it, it would right. be a very solid 8.5. That's fair. Um, now I, I still am going to give this a nine because a, I don't want to know the ingredients because it's that damn good. And B it's 14.5%. I don't need to know the date. You can hold this up to five years. Again, it's again, <laughs> that, 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 that's fair. That's a fair point. But to that point, like, to that point, when do your five years start? If you forgot when you bought the thing, there's no, they should at least have, if they, if they had the year on it, I would, I, 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 if okay. they had the year, I would forgive the date because this is a big fat beer. There's as, nothing as, though. Nothing. As, as you say, there's always Google. True, but <laughs> you shouldn't need it. What if, what if, what if what fucking the world ends, apocalypse happens, you somehow have a bunker going on and you still got this giant collection of beer and, and you fuck up and you let this one age too long or something. And it's bad. And it's the if, apocalypse. That, like, I, what could be worse? What could be worse than that? Running out of beer because I drank it all because I'm stuck in a fucking bunker. That's what I'm saying. That's why you have that much beer. And you know, you, <laughs> you gotta get to plan out your day. You know what I mean? Like that's like, 
Well, even on my, day, e- e- no, even on my days off, drink, actually. <laughs> even on my days off, I make a point of like, you know, not drinking till like at least seven or eight p.m. kind of thing, just because. All right, fair. Yeah. Like I just, you know, I, I don't. Well, generally, my thing is I stay up pretty goddamn late. If I start drinking at like four in the afternoon, I'm going to be dead by like midnight, probably or something like that. But. Yeah. Well, like, you might actually be. It's an almost eleven o'clock here, and you just drank fourteen point five percent. So, well, I'm. You know what? I, I've still got a. You know what? This should be two drinks, but hey, reviews <laughs> ending. Drink never will last. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. That that went down like scotch. Uh huh. <laughs> Yep. That was weird. Oh, yep. We may have discovered, and I wouldn't say scotch, but like, brandy. Why kind of like, but yeah, we may, we may have discovered the spirit. I still get a lot of licorice off there. So it's really tough to say. I'm honestly, I'm not getting licorice at all anymore. I'm getting, I'm, I, that's been replaced by a kind of a chocolate finish for me. Dark chocolate. True. Bit, right. Bitter dark chocolate. Okay. I like it. Yay, chug. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's good stuff and again like i said i wasn't like you know this doesn't really deserve a place in my hall of fame as it were but just because it is it, it you know what and, and actually it's not going to be in the hall of fame it's going to be somewhere on a shelf more more prominent because i want people to walk in and see this tiny little ridiculous bastard of a can but and you ask say about you've it. actually had a small can of high ABV beer. It's so funny. You know. You know what? I want someone now. I want someone to half this can. Oh my god! Why? I, I just because it'd be like. Because why not? Why not? Why not? Just like the, the <laughs> dumbest thing ever. I want. Before he halved it once, why do you want to half it? Again? I want one. Make the, half it and double the ABV. Make it like a thirty percent ABV beer in oh. that much beer. That's not. That's no longer a beer. That's more like a nice wine. Hey, Samuel Adams. Yeah, Utopia. Utopia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like that's what I'm saying. Nuclear tactical penguin. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Again, like <laughs> nothing I'd probably ever really want to have, but I just it, it, it would be. I've seen this. Now I want to see a smaller can. Actually, you know what? You know, you know what? Just take this, and bring it back to like the old school can before they had this like bulge in them, and just like from the from the the top to the bottom straight can you know what i mean Ooh, so it cut, and, cuts, and, cuts the edges and, off and not and not these not these tabs oh, the ones tab. that push the push the push oh, buttons i thought i was thinking pull tab but even that go like extra old school with it ridiculous <laughs> yeah why like not pu- <laughs> like honestly like it, it might it, these days i imagine that that might actually cost a bit more to produce because of like the mass produced cans so that would be something that isn't really made mm-hmm. i'm assuming these days but the the hipster cool factor kind of thing, I guess you'd say with that beer, like I'd line up and buy a can of that. That'd be fucking awesome. And, and, and as Sapphire says, iced beer shooter size. Yeah. Cause that, that's pretty much the, the way you get most that, of the you know, alcohol is you be freeze it. If you half that, that would be like, it'd be a double or triple shot, but it would it'd be like, throw, throw a little bit of Starbucks in coffee easy. in there. And you got yourself a very, very nasty, High ABV beer. Depending on what you put that in, make it nice and small. Make it so there's actually like make the can has so it has room. You know, like you cans can be okay if you freeze them, depending yep. on the beer and how much it expands. Like sometimes they'll bulge out a bit and stuff, but it won't explode. Sometimes it'll explode and you make your next day horrible time where you have to defrost and clean out your whole fucking freezer. But it sounds like that uh, has uh, shut up to you before. Shut up. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, like knock this in half. And make it something that can be frozen and like make it like potentially like made to be like you crack, you, you pull the top off, like the whole top peels off or something like that. And you plop that into your iced coffee or something or you fucking make a smoothie or I don't know that that could work pretty well. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be interesting. Why the hell not? You know, the Jaeger bomb shots just have an ice beer. Type shot. Oh. No, 
God damn it. <laughs> All right. I think we've had enough to drink yeah. so far. <laughs> I got to finish my, my Kentucky bastard. Good times. Okay. So Dan gave it a nine. I gave it a 7.5. It would have been 8.5. So we basically God. gave it kind of overall pretty close. Yeah. Uh, to average out my non-subtracted rating to Dan's rating would be like 8.75, obviously. So like overall, pretty yep. enjoyed. Make so. beer ice cubes. All right. Yep. yep. There is there are there is a it happened just so long ago. Like <laughs> my uh he's a he's a cousin, like, but he's not like it's my a really close friend of my dad and my mom growing up who like their uh my uncle Bob and my aunt Anne, I think. No, it's not. Aunt Beth, sorry. Uh they divorced, so I haven't seen Aunt Beth in ever forever. But they weren't actually my uncle Doug or Aunt Beth. But they were just like so close to my mom and dad and stuff. And like they're best friends with their kids growing up and shit. And their one son, Brian, when he was like I don't know, like 12 or 13. His dad was drinking a beer and bitching about how it got warm or something like that. And he was like, why don't you just make like beer popsicles? And like almost a year to the day, some company in German, in German knee? What is he? Yeah, German? Yeah, German. But, wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Strong beer was had. Good times. <laughs> some company in Germany introduced beer popsicles. And it was like, I feel like I, I I can't see that being overly tasty. The vodka popsicles have been. Vodka you can flavor with stuff so easily. Yes, be, you be, can. Beer is like I I've had beer like accidentally kind of freeze in the freezer, but like not like like oh shit, you grab it, it's like it's still good, and it's one of like you know it's, it, if you get a beer super super cold, it's not frozen, and as soon as you crack it open, it freezes. You ever that happen? Yes. You can actually, if, you, times, if, you, if, you, actually. if you get a bottle, if you get a bottle, you can actually see it. It's fucking amazing. But with a can, it's like, oh fuck. So you try to pour it as fast as you can to get out of the can so it'll stop. But like sometimes it still does like become basically a beer slushy. Mm-hmm. And I've have had quite a few of those that have been tasty. Yes. Oh yes, they so, have. <laughs> oh, and uh I've, I've Sapphire saying too. Cranberry lime vodka slushies. That They're, that sounds like something that would be very dangerous on a hot day. Yeah, yeah. Like, Actually, there was a there was a company that out here that did. Uh, it was called Iceberg, and it was a it was a lemon lime vodka slushy ooh. mix that they did. Like, yeah, like cranberries. Cranberry is one of those things. Just like the coffee or whatever the hell they talk about. Like, give me a cranberry or give me some cranberry juice on its own. Fuck off. Give me a mixed drink with some cranberries, cranberry juice in it, or give me some like, I don't know, a, a, even a smoothie with some cranberries blended up in it. Hell yes. Just really not a fan of my of them on the own. Again, beer slushies. Did, actually, did, did you ever send that other beer mail, Dan? I'm assuming no. No, I did not. Did you drink um, it? I have not drank it yet. I have not drank it yet, but I am kind of piss poor broke. Well, you, dude, I can, like, I can reimburse you for the beer mails, man. Like, just, I know, just, I know, just, and I, I've, I've got it. It's still in my fridge, and right. all three of them are still in my fridge. I would love to try that one. I know. I'm uh, still, I've, I've, I've still got a few, several actually of the beers that you sent me. <laughs> yes, sent you me do. So <laughs> fucking many. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the one though, I've been so I've, I'm tempted. I, I, that license to deal one, man. I still want to see I've that review. Never, I've never been more scared of a beer in my life. I still want to see that review. I want to see that live. I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified. I've done a few now. I did the uh, that blue monster thing or green monster. Yep. It was Wait that, for the grape, that grapefruit IPA was fucking tasty. Surprisingly. From Bl- um, or from uh, revival or was that from yeah the, the, the revival one okay the weird weird <laughs> brew brewery yeah it was the label it was the label that wasn't done horribly I just got that blonde ale by them yeah the blonde ale was done yeah, yeah. the Mine blonde the ale way. might not even be like 
reviewed it, it might just like uh, it, that'd just yeah. be drank yeah it's a it's a blonde ale like you you could see my review actually on although my you know page. I, I, well, I will i will say if i do decide not review it i pour it i drink it and i'm like oh this is so good i will pull up my phone and be like quick review quick review <laughs> yeah, yeah. And i'm assuming i'm assuming it's just gonna be a blonde ale but yeah the other yeah, one everything much. else you sent me though is it's a bunch of like that even that uh the barrel age fucking uh, eggnog stout. Yeah I, yeah. I didn't mind the eggnog stout. So I know that's why I said, cause you, you did make mention to it when I sent it to Greg, you did make mention that you're like, well, that kind of sounds interesting. I would wonder to see. Wait, what I didn't like. even know what it was. Yeah. I was like, did they barrel age that really? What the fuck? I want to, yeah. Yeah. I want that. But, <laughs> yeah. And look at that. You got it. Uh, <laughs> okay. We're at 40 minutes now. We're done. <laughs> My God. This is, it's been fun <laughs> again. Yeah. That, that we had a strong beer, it's strong beers when you're, you know, not with enemies and you don't want to fight. It, it leads to chatty and good times. Sure. If you drink strong beer, if you drink, never drink this beer in the presence of someone you hate because <laughs> it, it might give you alcohol rage and you might go to jail for murder. But if you're in a good mood, good mood chat beer. It, it works. It, it does work. Yeah. So sit back, you drink it, and you go, oh, shit, I've actually yeah. got a good buzz going. Uh, Sapphire, no. Uh, well, maybe like offline cars. But yeah, no, no, no. But I mean, I, I, I'm I, moving soon, and I'm like ridiculously – I'm, I'm far too stressed out about just the amount of stuff I still have to pack and fucking and so many stupid things messing with my head with moving. I'm not streaming games for a while. I apologize for that, but it's not happening for a while. And, and also I've got plans to upgrade my computer. I want to wait till that happens as well. Cause I'm just sick and tired of the random crashes and fucking bullshit that this thing has been responsible for, but we go Sapphire. You set him off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, you know, I just, you know what? I appreciate it. Cause I, 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 I uploaded, I should still upload a small, at least like update video. Hey, welcome to my channel. If you've been here for a while, Things haven't been going well. It's, yeah, but um, regardless, they're going. They're going the better than they could be. I, mean, I feel like I, I'm honestly happier with life than I have been in a long time. Mm -hmm. But also, currently, kind of fucking stressed and goddamn bullshit. But anyway, good things for high BV beers. Good chance Dan and I will be back at some point with that. Uh, another dual review of one yeah, of the videos sent me. And um, I'm, are you going to be around for Asahi this week? I'm assuming, I believe that's a beer. Uh, that's this Wednesday. I don't know if I am. My daughter is with me that day. So uh, you can get the beer. I can get the beer. You've seen me take post pictures. Well, uh, yeah, beer, again, but, uh, I think I think I was bitching again. If your daughter's with you, get, you know what? She, here, go upstairs, watch TV for an hour. I'm going to do a review. And then you, you don't you have to be part of the after chat, but be part of I think I, I think Ashley already said he's not going to be there because Asahi is too crappy. To, oh, look, Nick actually finally showed up. Uh, yeah, the, 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 that's, that's good timing. I think Ashley's not actually he's not going to be there because like he like he's got the gout now and stuff. He's like I'm I'm not going to like waste Asahi on my gout kind of thing. I guess was his kind of overall feeling on it. I'm like, come on, man. All so again, more, if you can make it, if you can make it, then more the merrier. And it's always fun having you on. So, um, yeah. and also, uh, if you if you do want to do either this conliche or the other one that I have a four or three pack left of of the, uh, let me know. We could do them both. We'll see yep. what happens. Oh, All right. Man. So anyway, we're done. Um, I guess uh, Nick go, go will meet you in the Discord type thing and we'll Come see you the there and uh, other people I'll see you when I see you thank you so much Sapphire for being here it's always great when you're being here with your, yes with the comments I, I love the comments and my dog is whining like a god I'm gonna throw something at him in a second no so, you're gonna go take him outside because he, has he was let out not long ago I got home from work and he was let out and he's like when I what get home whining? from work he's all like I let him out and he go he only go like he goes out takes one pee and he's like I went back in. I missed you. I went back in. It's like, okay. Let him back in. He's like, I want to go out again. He's like, you motherfucking bastard. So, yeah. <laughs> good time. All right. We're done. The peace out. Bye-bye now. <laughs>